Hi everyone, I'm back with another one of my fun-loving videos. Yay! Um, today I'm going to talk about making these little painting handles, which are very useful for both airbrushing or paint brush brushing, I guess you would say. Um, and it's very easy little thing to make, so I attached a Peter Pig 3mm square base to a piece of evergreen tubing that I just had lying around, but I think you can buy this stuff for about five bucks for, you know, more than enough to build a lot of these handles. And then just some sheet styrene on the top. Um, I stuck it together with hobby glue and just put some weights on the foot so that it won't flop over when your painting's on. And then when you go to do your thing, you just put some of this sticky tack on it and you just stick your thing to it and you can paint or use your brush. I will uh, demonstrate as I go. You can also use this to do figures. So companies like Citadel um, have these painting handles that you can buy. But I think they lend themselves more to larger scales, like the, the 28 mil and, you know, the kind of fantasy stuff. These smaller models, they might not fit well on it, or you'd have to base them on something first and then stick it on the handle. This, you know, I could probably, and I mean, you can, if you're making this yourself, you can make the platform as big as you want. I have this platform just to fit mainly vehicles, uh, but you could do it wider to put, you know, as many figures on as you want and you can just spend them around and of course you don't have to use plastic you could just as easily make this base out of wood put a dowel on put a screw through the bottom and countersink the screw so it'll sit flat put some weight down and whatever for a platform you could do the same for a platform so it's a versatile thing very useful i used to paint most of my vehicles just holding them in my hand, which is very awkward. <laughs> so these handles make it a lot better. Um, so yeah, I'll just show some action shots of me spray painting uh, or airbrushing a truck or something. And that will be it for that video. There's many ways you could do this, but they're, they're so helpful and useful. Okay, so I'm going to print a uh, highlight color on these things I'm painting. Um, I'm wearing my respirator, so I sound a bit like Darth Vader. That didn't sound like Darth Vader at all, but you know what I mean. I'm just going to mix up my paint in the airbrush, give it a little test, and then away I go. See how easy it is just to hold? Very nice. So, we all know what it looks like to see a guy airbrush something. So we're going to call this a freaking done video. Nice and short and sweet. And stay tuned for more Miniature Dork Universe in the near future. I am going to be away for 10 weeks um, doing a log home building course. But I am going to come back to Toronto on weekends. So, I'll try to post more content while I'm doing this log home building course. Let's see if I actually follow through, but I'll try my best, fellows. So thanks for watching. Make yourself a handle. It's awesome. Why did you engage the like and subscribe buttons? The miniature dork universe is rife with bad language, shitty music and all manner of dumb shit. So disappointing.